Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with functions, uh, is going to try to demystify, or maybe define, I suppose is probably a better word, uh, the concepts of what we mean by the domain of a function, what we mean by the codomain of a function, what we mean by the range of a function, and what we mean by the image of a function. Okay. Uh, I suppose before we get started, and uh, sort of what I've sort of been doing in, in, in all the videos in this particular series is I've always been providing the definition of actually what a function is. So let's maybe provide that again. Uh, it's I like to keep providing it because it's a little bit abstract, yeah. But maybe I, I believe that every time we keep def defining it, and we get a little bit of a better understanding of actually what a function truly is. Okay. So what is the definition? So I've got a function definition. Okay. The definition. Uh, and what the definition basically says is that, well, I suppose, first of all, uh, let, let A and B uh, be non-empty sets, okay? So we have two sets, and they're non-empty, okay? And uh, let's say, let, let F be a relation, okay? So F, let F be a relation, okay, uh, from, from the set A, from A uh, into the set B. In other words, really what we're saying here is that F is some relation, okay? Uh, because it's a relation from A into B, F is basically a subset of the cross product of A with B. That's the way we define a relation. So all a relation is is a subset of a cross product. In this case, it's a cross product of A with B, okay? It's a subset of A cross B. So let A and B be non-empty sets, be non-empty sets, okay? sets, okay, uh, and let F be a relation from A into B, okay, then, then we say, we say uh, that, that F, okay, is a function, that's the key word here, it's a function uh, from, from A, okay, into B, okay, into B, okay, if the following two conditions hold, okay, so if the two following two conditions hold. And the first condition is this, is that for all, for all elements of A, okay, so for every value in A, don't forget, we're saying that F is a relation from A into B, okay, so it's a subset of the cross product, so it's a set of, let's keep it simple, it's a set of, of, of ordered pairs, the ordered pairs have, let's say, have a, 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 have a first component and a second component, the first components come from A, the second component comes from B, okay, and what we're saying here is that uh, F is this, is this relation, okay, and we're going to call it a function, yeah, from A into B, if for every value that's in A, for every single value in A, uh, we we must have, okay, uh, we must, we must have, okay, that, that f of A, that when we pass A into the function, okay, or when we pass A into this particular, into this particular, let's say, uh, this particular uh, process, okay, that f of A must exist. So for all A's that are an element of the set A, we must have that f of A exists. In other words, we can actually map values from A into into values for B, yeah, okay? And that every value from A is actually taken to some value in B, and that's what we're really saying here. In other words, that f of A, the, the application of the function to the value A, actually exists and is a value in the set B, okay? Actually, what we're really saying here is that the domain of f is actually equal to A, but I'll get back to that now in a moment, yeah? Uh, point two, okay? says that for all, okay, for all ordered pairs, for all points, okay, so for all a, b's, and for, let's say, a prime, b primes, okay, so we're going to choose two points that are elements of f, in other words, they're, they're two, they're, we've got two points that are mapped into two other points, okay, okay, uh, so we have for all of these possibilities, okay, if, if a, equals a prime, in other words, if the first values are the same for these possibilities, okay, then we must, then we must have, we must have that, we must have that the b value, okay, is equal to the b prime value, okay. Really what that's saying to us, really what that's saying to us is that, okay, we can't have a situation, yeah, 
where the same value is mapped to two different values, okay? That if we do have the same value that's being mapped, okay, and if it's mapped to two different values, well, then that's not allowed, okay? If we have the same values that are mapped, okay, well, then what we're saying is that if they are the same, okay, they must be mapped to the same point, okay? And that's our, that's our second, our second, I suppose, criteria for a function to be a function, okay? So, but what I want to concentrate on in this particular in this particular example is the concept of a domain 